brand new stadium and it's coming to Wando High School and school district leaders promise it will be the best they can buy for $14.2 million. But as News 2's Macy McLeod tells us, not all Mount Pleasant leaders are on board with this plan. Macy. The plan is for a regional stadium across the street from Wando. Now, this regional stadium concept was actually voted for by taxpayers, and it will be used by any high schoolers east of the Cooper, which means Wando, the high school that's replacing Lincoln Middle High, and the new Lucy Beckham High School. But the district is also planning to tear down the old Wando Stadium near the Beckham High School site, and some local leaders think that's a bad idea. Mount Pleasant Town Councilman Gary Santos says he is worried the high school players will never feel at home without their own field. It will give them their own identity if they have their own stadium, if they're able to play their home games there, as I said, their homecoming games there. Uh, I think it's better, and I think it's better for the community. Charleston County School District tells me they are going to make the stadium feel like home to every school. Uh, we intend to uh, build the stadium to, pers to be able to personalize it for each of the schools that plays in it, so it will uh, feel like a home game. He says by pooling the money for one stadium as opposed to one for every school, it means they can afford to include perks like artificial turf. Our existing fields that are grass, if there's heavy rains, uh, it creates an environment where either you really do a lot of damage to it with a game or you have to stay off of it. Uh, artificial surf with the surface with the drainage that's available uh, as part of that package allows us to keep kids on the field longer. And he says there will also be benefits for fans, like better seating and improved concession stands. Councilman Santos also questions the traffic that will be constantly in and out of that stadium. Both of those teams will have to travel up there during a the really um, uh, congested time of day. The traffic would be horrendous up there. But CCSD says it shouldn't be an issue because most events will be held after rush hour. The other aspect of it I'll, I'll point out is because we're able to use the Wando High School parking lot, we're creating less asphalted, less impervious space. CCSD says they plan to take down the bleachers at the old Wando Stadium and build a track while preserving the existing football field as a practice field. The new stadium is expected to be ready for athletes in fall of 2018. Macy McLeod, News 2.